Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Alright, so we are writing the value of x in this equation below. I notice that x here is an exponent, so we're finding an exponent, right? And no pun intended. An exponent, get it? Okay, sorry about that. Um, so we're looking for the exponent x, and it's equal to 5 to the 3rd raised to the 6th power. Alright, so we've got to find this exponent. What can we do? We've got to do something, so let's play with this over here. 5 to the 3rd to the 6th power. What could that even mean? Well, that's going to mean that we're multiplying 5 to the 3rd 6 times, right? 5 to the 3rd times 5 to the 3rd. That would be 5 to the 3rd squared. Another one be multiplied. Now it would be 5 to the 3rd to the 3rd, and then 5 to the 3rd to the 4th, and so on, right? But we have 5 to the 3rd to the 6th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I notice that my base, of course, is the same in all of them. Base is 5 in all of them. And so if we're multiplying a bunch of numbers with the same base, we can just add the exponents, right? If you think about it, these are each 3 5s being multiplied. So altogether, right, this is 3 5s being multiplied, and so is this, and so on and so forth. We could say it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 5s being multiplied, and that is our exponent. I also, I, I love this problem because this, this law of exponents builds from this one here, where we are multiplying at the same base and add the exponents. And this law of exponents, as you might notice, is, is even like m more basic, I guess, or more automatic than some of the others. Because here, all you have to do is, is recognize that you're multiplying the exponents, right? 3 times 6 is 18. So if you have a base to a power in parentheses with another power, you can just multiply those exponents to get the new exponent in the end. All right, hope this helped.